Welcome back, luxury enthusiasts, to another captivating episode of Daily Trendy Luxury. Today, we're diving deep into the extraordinary life and career of a man who needs no introduction. The man, the myth, the legend, Elon Musk. Elon Musk is not just a household name. He's a global icon, a trailblazer in the world of entrepreneurship, innovation, and visionary thinking. In this exclusive video, we'll be uncovering the fascinating journey of Elon Musk. From his early days as a tech prodigy to his groundbreaking ventures in space exploration, electric vehicles, and beyond, we'll leave no stone unturned in exploring the life of this modern-day genius. Before Elon Musk became the icon we know today, his journey began in the most unlikely of places. Let's explore the early life and education of the man who would go on to shape the future of technology and space exploration. Elon Musk was born on June 28, 1971, in Pretoria, South Africa. He was the eldest of three siblings, growing up in a family that valued innovation and education. From an early age, Musk displayed a remarkable fascination with technology and entrepreneurship. At the age of 12, he sold his first homemade video game, foreshadowing his future ventures in the tech world. Musk's educational path was nothing short of exceptional. After completing his primary education in South Africa, he set his sights on the United States. He attended Queen's University in Ontario, Canada for a brief period before transferring to the University of Pennsylvania. You know, there are American heroes who don't like this idea. Showcasing his interdisciplinary approach to problem solving. It was during this time that his passion for technology and innovation blossomed. Musk's thirst for knowledge eventually led him to Stanford University for a PhD in energy physics. However, he left Stanford just two days later, choosing instead to seize the opportunities of the dot-com boom. Daily Trendy Luxury Viewers, can you imagine the luxury lifestyle Elon Musk leads today? He leveled up and bought a $1 million McLaren F1 until one day. I didn't really know how to drive the McLaren, so I floored it and did a lane change and started spinning. I remember seeing the cars coming towards me while I was going backwards, and then we hit an embankment, which tossed the car into the air like a d In this segment, we'll take a deep dive into the pivotal ventures that have cemented his status as a global innovator and business mogul. Musk's first major success came with Zip2, a web software company he co-founded in 1990. This venture focused on providing business directories and maps for newspapers. It marked the beginning of Musk's entrepreneurial career and eventually sold for nearly $300 million. He founded SpaceX in 2002 with the audacious goal of reducing space transportation costs and enabling the colonization of Mars. This venture has already achieved numerous milestones, including the successful launch and reusability of rockets, and it continues to push the boundaries of space exploration. In 2004, Elon Musk took the helm at Tesla Motors, an electric vehicle manufacturer. Tesla's groundbreaking electric cars have not only reshaped the automotive industry, but have also propelled the world towards sustainable transportation solutions. Musk's vision for an electric future has made Tesla a symbol of luxury and innovation. And all those mansions are pretty much the same, except for one, because Elon straight up bought Willy Wonka's house, which looks normal on the outside, but it's got some weird stuff on the inside. Don't you have Gene Wilder's house? That's a real quirky house, yeah. All the cabinets are like odd shapes. There's like doors to nowhere and car doors and tunnels and odd paintings on the wall. But Elon wasn't trying to live in that creepy ass house, so obviously he turned it into a school for his kids. Let's look at the physics and economics of a rocket. I mean, I'm not gonna question one of the richest men in the world, because he's the one who can afford an $80 million neighborhood. 
All that Tesla money must be nice. So you know the boy to get a diamond Tesla ring to celebrate. And Elon usually isn't one to flex diamonds. But since it was gifted by Ben Baller, he let it slide. He has bought one piece of jewelry though, except it wasn't for himself. Straight from his father's emerald mine, he gifted this green emerald on a 14 karat gold necklace to his college girlfriend. And after they broke up, he probably wasn't hurt like I'd be after spending 50k on it. But his second wife got millions. Cause once Elon found out how much girls care about rings, he splashed on three different engagement rings for his new girl. The first ring he bought was 100 bands. But since Elon was making hundreds of millions, she roasted him for being cheap. So to make up for it, he bought her a ring worth 300,000. And to her surprise, that was only the ring for everyday use. He also bought her a ring for special occasions, which had 10 sapphires and a diamond so big, it cost him a million dollars. Bring the total he spent on jewelry to 1.5 million. Clearly Elon didn't give a fuck about spending that bag either, because he divorced her two years later and slid her 16 mil for the trouble. But what if I told you he's spending way more on his kids? The average parent spends about 300k total on their kid, but Elon's kids definitely aren't average. They go to private school and fly in his private jet for vacations, which racks up to about 1 million per year. So this man is at least spending 24 million on just one kid. But dude has nine kids, making his total check around 216 million. Now that's expensive, but he probably doesn't care when he's buying multiple jets. Elon couldn't stand just owning one jet, so of course he bought five of them. His first jet cost him 26 mil, and it's got your typical recliner seats, dining room, and bedroom. But he bought this before he became a billionaire. So once he leveled up from M's to B's, he couldn't be seen flying around the same tiny jet as Taylor Swift. Nah, he saw billionaire Mark Cuban own a Gulfstream G550 and had to one-up him. So he copped two of them for 62 million each. But it wasn't long until a newer model came out, the G650. And the difference between them is insane. On the G650, there's one extra seat. That's it. That's the only difference. Just like how you buy the new iPhone, that's the same as your old one. Billionaires do that, but with private jets. Except instead of paying $1,000, billionaires drop 75 million. And recently, Elon dropped another 75 mil on the newest Gulfstream, the G700. Can you guess what the difference between those are? I'll give you a hint. You know how they keep making the iPhones a little bigger each year? Yep, they pretty much just made the plane a little bit bigger. <clears throat> When you're worth over 200 billion though, spending 300 mil on jets ain't a big deal. But Elon's biggest purchase might be the biggest flex ever. Because for normal people, when they don't like how an app works, they just uninstall it. But when you're Elon Musk, you just straight up buy it. Because when Twitter was censoring tons of people, Elon decided to take a little break from getting us to Mars to make sure we still got free speech. And even though Twitter was losing billions of dollars, he bought it anyway. I mean, imagine having so much money that you don't even care if you lose billions. Because he paid way more than he needed to. Literally for the memes. One of Elon's favorite memes is 420. So he decided to buy all the shares of the company at 5420. Dude must have been high when he to that deal. It's been estimated that he overpaid by $19 billion, bringing the total to purchase this failing bird app to $44 billion. But it looks like Elon's trying to turn the app around, because recently, Elon rebranded Twitter to X, and he said he's going to turn it into a super app. And if it's anything like China's WeChat, X could be worth upwards of $80 billion. 